Hi guys, this is Crystal Frivola here, your real estate expert in the Inland Empire and the eastern part of LA County. I specialize in Claremont, Upland, Rancho Cucamonga, and uh, Laverne and parts of Glendora. So with that, I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about um, the importance of having a buyer's agent. Now, first going back a little bit, a uh, buyer's agent did not exist up until the 1990s. So prior to that, you had the seller's agents. They represented the sellers and they worked with the buyers, but the buyers didn't really have anybody representing them. So it was just kind of, um, you just represented yourself and the seller is the one that had the representation. So that changed a little bit in the 90s. And so by the 90s, um, it started getting Pop, so popular that there were real estate agents that just started calling themselves buyers uh, agent specialists. So that's all they worked. They just worked with buyers. There's still some like that, but not as much. But it got really popular. Picked up a lot of steam in the '90s, which is really good because, you know what, we the buyers as well need they they need uh, representation and they need people looking out for their best interests, not just the sellers. So it goes both ways. So. Um, why is it important to get a buyer's agent? You know, first of all, it's free. You don't pay for the, you don't pay the commission. You don't pay, you don't have any, you can sign an exclusive agreement with the agent if you want that person, if you really like that agent and you just, you want to, you want that agent to work with you at any purchase, then you can do that, but you don't necessarily need to. So that's where I think sometimes the agents, um, that's the only negative, that's the only the con that comes along with that is that the agent doesn't always have a guarantee that they're gonna make a sale if they're dealing with the buyers. But, um, so you don't have to pay, the seller pays for everything. Now, I know I came across a young man recently and he said he didn't need an agent, that he was just gonna go on his own and I said, you, do you understand how much work there is? And there's a lot of paperwork, legalities. And he said, yeah, I can do it. He's like, I, I want to try to save some money on the house so I can do this on my own. So I said, okay, but in reality, the agent is not, I'm sorry, the seller is not necessarily gonna drop any price because simply because you're working independently you're working you're representing yourself as a buyer they many times they don't it doesn't even matter to them and and um what ends up happening is that the listing agent feels that they deserve they're going to get the full commission because they're basically kind of holding the hand of the buyer and kind of basically representing the buyer as well in this transaction that's what ends up happening and a lot of people think that you know they're savvy and they know a lot about real estate and sure I'm sure they're and, and a lot of people are very savvy these days they really are I give them that you know you have Zillow you have all of these websites that are teaching you a lot of stuff and the buyers are very savvy these days but there's still just so much more to real estate that you just don't know unless you are a real estate agent there's a lot of advice that you need there's a lot of legalities going alone is very very risky not to mention the amount of work and paperwork if you have a full-time job it's really really um hard to go through all of that and not only just the paperwork but the emotions you need you need you need an agent that will um negotiate for you rationally without emotions not to say that you're not rational every you know everybody everybody can be rational and everybody can be emotional but the agent has no for the most part has no emotion as as much emotion as the actual buyer would so it's you know it's it's a good thing to take the emotion out of it while let the real estate agent negotiate for you so you know that's the good thing um looking at my paper here um, so like I said, the listing agent feel will feel in many regards that they deserve the full commission because they are the only agent working in that transaction and many times the seller will agree that, you know, so I said that there's, there's just a lot of paperwork. 
Um, probably the one most important thing are the legalities though. You will be, if there anything, anything were to happen, you will be 100% responsible for it. If you were to miss something in the contract, if you were not to fill the contract, one little thing, contracts as we all know are so sensitive. If you were to miss one little thing, it can really cost you thousands of dollars and who wants that? It, all, overall, was it worth it? So you're risking, if you don't want a buyer's agent, you're risking, you know, tens of thousands possibly just to save a couple of thousand. So to me, it just doesn't seem like it's worth it. It may seem worth it to you though. So um, if you are interested, while we're speaking of it, if you are interested in purchasing a home or even selling, give me a call. I can definitely help you. I can give you advice and um, maybe we can work together. So with that, I will leave you let you continue doing your thing I didn't want to make a video that was too long so I uh, hope to hear from you and have a good day